There's something I've been wondering. Why are you called Code Talker? During World War II, the U.S. military used the languages of different tribes, including the Navajo, as codes, right? I know the term Code Talker was used to mean people sent to the battlefield to speak in those codes. Were you one of them? Our mother tongue was indeed used for war. But I did not go. I was already over the conscription age. However, I was made to help craft the codes that were spoken. So in a wider sense, you could call me a code talker for that. Navajo is a complex language. And virtually no one outside the U.S. speaks it. The most thought it was the perfect language to use as a code. Yeah, in the end, the Japanese never cracked it. The cipher is king in information warfare. Of course, they didn't simply speak in Navajo. They created substitutions for words according to a code book, and then translated those into our language. Young Diné was sent to the front lines of the Pacific Theater as code talkers. To fight is an honor for the Diné. They were the pride of our people. But I cannot say this history brings me joy. Words are alive. When they are spoken, life is breathed into them. They become a part of the listener. Our words were transformed into lifeless ciphers and used for war. This, after the Black Anna, spent generations suppressing the language. Yeah. I'm sorry. So I guess we shouldn't be calling you Code Talker, huh? No, I do not mind. The reason Skullface called me Code Talker was because I also am responsible for coding language into the vocal cord parasites. I am the same as those young warriors, used for a cipher's sake. I must never forget that. The name, Code Talker, is a lesson carved into my being. You said Skullface ordered you to weaponize the vocal cord parasites. But you also said he wasn't the reason. And he wasn't. I was seduced by the parasites. That is a fact. How? You mean from your curiosity as a scientist? That I cannot deny. But there is more to it. The story goes back to the 19th century. To my earliest memory. One day, a man from the government visited our Hogan, our home. I cried as he yanked me from my mother's arms and took me away to an Indian boarding school. From that day forward, I became George. This was the name my teacher gave me. I was forced to give up my Dinek name, forbidden from speaking anything but English. If we dared utter a word of filthy Navajo, the teacher made us eat a bar of soap. Yeah. That was the U.S. government's education policy for Native Americans. To erase our words was like erasing our people. Their education was tantamount to ethnic cleansing. Over time, the overt persecution of our language stopped. But to this day, it continues to be eaten away by the lingua franca, that is English. Many of the Diné outside the reservations can speak nothing else. And it isn't just our language. Across the world, minority languages are being destroyed by dominant languages. Many are on the verge of extinction. Hmm. Enter the vocal cord parasites. Yes. I began thinking that minority languages needed some sort of deterrent against dominant languages. In order that they, that their peoples and cultures would survive. It was then that I came across literature at the foundation claiming that man acquired language thanks to a type of parasite. One that distinguishes between languages as a precursor to reproduction. If I could just resurrect it, make it more pathogenic, I would have my deterrent against English. But I failed to hide that aim from Skullface. He noticed. Yes. I wanted to retaliate against the English language. Though 
never did I intend to actually use it as he planned. You know how the story ends. I was forced to study how to make the parasites compatible with all the world's languages. All but English. However, he in fact secretly isolated an English strain. I will not be held prisoner by the man Phantom. The English strain must not be allowed to exist either. The world has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete.
momentarily. I think it may be time just to kill everyone. Should I go for it? Kill time? Alright. It's gonna be stealth time first. Come on, neck counts as head game. Body is. I do know there's a lot of people here. Stop moving around. Okay, get ready.
complete. Oh. complete.
Plant expansion complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Development project has been added. I missed this the entire time. Idiot.
Extraction arrived at mother base. Unit function added. Development project has been added. I barely recognize you, Colonel. Skullface used your thirst for revenge against Big Boss, did he? Boss, I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. Development project has been added. Please select a land landing zone Roger. Component. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. Code Talker's research has been stolen. The research materials have been packed into two containers and hidden in the jungle southwest of the mansion. Enemy extraction choppers will be there any minute. You have to find and retrieve those containers before they arrive. That area is being guarded by zero risk of security, and the client is XOF. If the choppers make off with the containers, that research will end up in Cypher's hands. That cannot be allowed to happen. One other thing, boss. We need a cargo-capable Fulton extraction device to recover the containers. Use your 
your iDroid to order its development and have it dropped in. Be careful down there, boss. The map has been updated. Marker placed. Extraction arrived at Motivate. Analysis Guards, they must know where their containers are. Analysis if you complete. can just squeeze it out of them. Complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Marker placed. Dit gaan terug naar koloniale daartoe. Hulle was aanzienlijk minder verdeeld, maar die regering het die boete voorgetrek. En hulle was die minder. Dit het hulle net verder verdeeld. Het sal seker nooit verander nie. Regerings doen net wat hulle pas. Maar dink daaroor. Dit is die vijandigheid wat ons checks betaal. Hey, is jy... Destination. Talk. I've updated the info on your iDroid. Take a look. The PF soldiers have no idea what's in those containers. Strictly a need to know basis. Oh. 
They're stepping up security around the targets. Watch yourself. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Visibility in the jungle Watch isn't great. Rain Watch out. You could run into the enemy at any time. Analysis complete. Our early warning radar still hasn't picked up the enemy choppers. But it's only a matter of time before they arrive. Analysis complete. Detected. Analysis complete. Analysis complete.
Service complete.
We got Code Talker's research materials back in one piece. The medical team has them under lock and key in the quarantine facility. The materials should help their research into the vocal cord parasites. Cypher won't be getting their hands on them now. in that lab. Why hide that until now? I, okay, so what? I, I wasn't working alone. You've got to understand. You do understand, right? I didn't want to drag her into this. It's my load to bear, alone. So you didn't create the AI intended to drive Sahelanthropus. It was strange, love. Skullface was never in favor of AI control. So naturally, they argued. Strange love, she, she she got him angry and and he killed her. How? You didn't see it? So you found her inside that pot after the fact. And you just left her body to rot in there. Or perhaps you put her in there afterward. I I I asked him not to take her away from me. So she was killed by Skullface, but you asked nicely, and he put her body in the AI pod for you. That's right. Pathetic. You know, we have another idea. That you killed her. What, me? I couldn't kill her. You killed her and locked her body in the pod. I wouldn't. D don't treat me like one of you. I, I can't just kill anyone whenever I feel like it. I'm a, a, a normal human being. Oh, I see. So you just shut her inside and waited for her to die. I would never do that. With Roger. Yes. She, she climbed inside that pod and shut the door. It, it can't be opened from the outside. It, it was suicide. Hmm. Suicide, I said. She killed herself. She got in when I wasn't looking and, and suffocated. She'd often try to do things like that. Uh, by the time I realized and opened the door, she wasn't breathing. I, I got scared and shut the pot again. I couldn't bring myself to open it back up. That's right. Me? Kill her? What is wrong with you? I see. Just tell me one more thing. Haven't you gotten enough today? Okay, okay, I see it's a painful memory. You don't have to answer, just listen to the question. You see, we examined her remains. She had a scar on her lower abdomen, a surgical scar. It had been stitched up and had fully healed, meaning it was long before her death. She had a child, didn't she? Your child. Where's the kid? How should I know? So there is a child. I've never seen his face. What do you take us for? They took it all. Even my child. I didn't even know he'd been born. See, I lost everything. How old would he be? It's four years since then. And you know it's a boy. Strange love said so. And his name? 
We called him Hal, even though I never saw his face. <laughs> Extraction arrived at Mother Base.